Hello, my name is Kweku. I am a pharmacist. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the medication Tamsulosin, also sold under the brand name Flomax. We're going to be taking a look at what it is and what it is used for. We will take a look at how to take it, as well as some potential side effects and best practices and precautions if you are taking Tamsulosin or if you are considering it. So first off, what is Tamsulosin and what is it used for? Well, it belongs to a group of medications we call alpha blockers and its main primary FDA approved use is for the treatment of the symptoms of an enlarged prostate, what we medically call benign prostatic hyperplasia. It works by relaxing the muscles in the prostate and the bladder so that the urine can flow easily. It may also be used off-label to manage kidney stones. Uh, if you think about it, the same concept that allows the urine to flow easily due to the relaxed bladder muscles also make it easier to pass the kidney stones. Another off-label use to which tamsulosin may be put is in the management of overactive bladder. Now, how to take tamsulosin for best results? Well, tamsulosin comes as a capsule which is to be taken by mouth. It's supposed to be swallowed whole, not to be chewed or crushed, or even open the capsules. It is generally taken once a day, ideally 30 minutes after the same meal each day. For the management of the symptoms of an enlarged prostate, the typical starting dose is 0.4 milligrams. However, this may be increased to 0.8 milligrams after about two to four weeks if the initial 0.4 milligrams did not achieve its desired result. Now onto some potential side effects. Notice that I use the word potential, meaning that not everything that I'm about to discuss will be experienced by everybody that takes tamsulosin. So if you are taking tamsulosin without any problems, please feel free to continue taking your medication as prescribed. The first I have on the list is backache, which occurs in approximately 7 to 8.3% of the people that take tamsulosin. There's also been reports of sleepiness or what we call somnolence occurring in about 3 to 4%. And then insomnia, that is difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep in about 1.4 to 2.4% of the population. So as you can see, it can affect you either way. It can either make you sleepy or it can keep you up. Dizziness has also been reported and that is fairly common occurring in about 14.9% to about 17.1%. For some people, this dizziness or lightheadedness may be due to a drop in their blood pressure. It is generally recommended to know how know how your body reacts to the tamsulosin before you do anything that requires you to be alert, like operating a machine, driving a car, things of that sort. Other side effects that have been reported include diarrhea, runny or stuffy nose, headache, blurred vision, and for some people, a difficulty in ejaculating. There's also another very rare side effect, but tends to be serious if it occurs, that is a, a painful or prolonged erection, what we medically call priapism. So if you take tamsulosin and you notice any prolonged erection, good idea to discuss that with your doctor. This list is obviously not exhaustive, so if you experience anything unusual when you start taking tamsulosin, please do well to discuss that with your doctor. Now, some best practices or precautions that you need to be aware of, especially when you start taking tamsulosin. The first one is to rise slowly from a sitting position as it may cause what is called orthostatic hypotension. Now, orthostatic hypotension is a situation where your blood pressure falls significantly when you go from a sitting to a standing position, and it has resulted in some people fainting or falling. So good idea to, when you start taking tamsulosin, take it slow when you're going from a sitting position to a standing position. Another best practice or precaution is to avoid abrupt discontinuation of the medication. For some people, such abrupt discontinuation may lead to elevated blood pressures, which obviously is not a good thing. Also, if you're planning on having glaucoma or cataract surgery, do well to let your doctor know as tamsulosin may cause eye problems during surgery for some people. So a high level overview of tamsulosin, I hope you found some value in it. On your screen is a video that I did about medications that you should avoid if you have an enlarged prostate. I believe you're going to enjoy that one as well. Thank you so much. I'll catch you on the next video and stay blessed.